My New Locomotives 2024. Locomotives I've built this year, or those which have been painted this year, and strictly speaking, I built them last year, but all really within the last 12 months. A selection, and as you'll see, all East Coast mainline locomotives, all built from kits. Pro scale A4. Now, strictly speaking, this has been seen before, but I've included it for continuity. Built, as I say, from a pro scale kit and painted by Ian Rathbone on a typical working of fast up Newcastle. The train, as usual, a mix of kit built and heavily modified or lightly modified sometimes RTR carriages. And this train includes the X Silver Jubilee triplet set. Another locomotive seen before, a Newcast V2 fitted onto a set of Comet frames and, as with the first A4, painted by Ian Rathbone and this, a typical fast fitted freight. I thought a lot of the V2s. Splendid engines, perfectly proportioned and the Newcast kit captures it very well. As I say, it has been seen before, but in terms of continuity, it's been now running for just over a year on Little Bison. In fact, as you can see, I'm sure all these shots are on my model of Little Bison. I'm very fortunate to be able to call on the painting skills of two consummate professional painters. This one, Ian Rathbone. Now this next one DJHA160126, Sir Vincent Raven, other than on RM Web, right, rights, has not been seen before. Painted once more by Ian Rathbone and a Tyneside based A1 on a Tyneside Express, the Northumbria, complete with its triplet set. DJH with a big Porter Scat motor giving superb performance. I like DJH A1s. I've built about 30 by now, and there's over a dozen on Little By them. A DGHA3, this one has not been seen before. This time painted by Jeff Haynes on an up Newcastle, another up Newcastle, again with a triplet set. And once more, a train again, a mix of kit built and modified RTR. And the triplet set in this train I built from a Comet set. You can't get triplets RTR. One day, maybe? Anyway, I prefer to build my own. A lovely A3, powered by a big porter scab. And a prototype shot at Muscombe 
in 1959 in exactly the same condition that I've modelled it. Yet another DJH A1 in the form of 60158 Abedonia. Now this one you will have seen before on video but not painted and this time again the painting is by Jeff Haynes, another dear friend and it's on appropriately an up York and the whole combined express. It has been seen before, as I say, but unpainted, and Jeff has painted this perfectly. It's powered by a big DJH motor gearbox combination. And here we have the prototype. Leaving Grantham, and ten minutes later it will be fizzing through little by them. Southeastern Finecast A4, yet another Southeastern Finecast A4. Again, obviously from its condition, one which hasn't been seen before. Now I say Southeastern Finecast, that is the locomotive, but the tender is a DJH example of a streamlined non-corridor. Southeastern Finecast doesn't do such a tender, but it's needed to go behind this one, which will become 60006 Sir Ralph Wedgwood. Now I think I've got better at photographing this type of locomotive because in 1957 I took a picture of the prototype at Botany Bay, just north of Retford, and I was using a Brownie 127 and the train was travelling much faster than the shutter speed of the Kodak Brownie, which meant the image was blurred, as I hope I've got better. And this is hauling that same Northumbrian train. I'm not going to include that picture taken by an 11 year old spotty sprog because it really was awful. Jeff Haynes will paint this one. I like low angle shots like this. It's sort of eye level, isn't it? Eye level of a small boy. I was 12 in 1958 when that's the period represented on Little By Them. Entirely self indulgent. Finally, a DJH BR Standard 5. Now, in all the cases of the locomotive you've just seen, they're available RTR, and very good they are too. But my personal preference has always been to build my own locomotives. And this is a case in point. In case people think it's inappropriate for little by them, in the mid to late 50s, three of this type, 73157, 73158, and 73159 were allocated to Top Shed, King's Cross 34A. So during the period of Little Bytham's depiction, they would have been seen, maybe not every day, but certainly on 34A diagrams. I'm told they worked as far as Hull. The B1s were preferred, but of course, that's natural partisanship. A big porter scat powers this, and you can see how well it runs. Good running is essential, and it's a typical working. Some of the fish trains were taken by these locomotives, but as I just mentioned, the men preferred the B1s. As with the Southeastern Finecast A4, J1 
just seen previously. This is going to Jeff Haynes' paint shop. And all of these locomotives, those finished here and those to be painted, will be seen on my display at the Doncaster Show in February next year, February 2025. So if you're interested, please come along and discuss them with me. I look forward to it. There is another DJ8 Standard 5 on Little Bytham. This one. I didn't build it. It was built by the late, great Roy Jackson and painted by Jeff Kent. It's a treasured possession. Thank you.